Oh my gosh. You guys haven't heard me talking that whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm really you guys sorry. Heard me talking uh, that whole time. I had oh gosh, no idea. Really Let me fix that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I will t start over. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I've been talking this whole time and just to myself. Um, so, uh, well, thank you for everyone for being here and for listening to music and having no idea what was I was talking about on my screen. <laughs> uh, it sounds like you guys can hear me now. Um, so, uh, I, let me re restart over here. Um, okay. So the, uh, it's the gardening set, um, originally is, okay. Are we still having audio problems? Okay. It sounds like it's better now. Hello, everyone. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> I was just taking a little pause to make sure the audio is good. I'm sorry. I was talking for like five minutes and you guys didn't hear any of that. Um, so I'll start over. So I am planning on going over the no uh, fig deal gardening set today. And um, at the end, I'm going to do a sneak peek of some upcoming sets I have. Um, I don't think I've shown anyone any of these sets before, and so I'm really excited to show those all to you. Um, they have some really cool feature features, and um, they're, I'm super stoked to show them to you. Um, but first, uh, let's go over the No Fig Deal Gardening Care Set. So what I was showing you here... Um, was this is actually the original form my sprinkler took um, before I made the gardening care set. And so I don't know if any of y'all had this when you were a kid. This is like the classic gardening sprinkler. Um, I had one as a kid and um, I've actually asked some of some people if they had this um and only a few people recognized it but i was like this was a staple of my childhood like this this was summer right here um and I, this was actually the first object i animated um totally from scratch so but the reason i didn't finish go with this one which i i actually still plan to finish this one because i wanted to add um the ability for kids to play in the sprinkler. But the one thing I was struggling with was a lot of people, they don't just have plots, right? So there's plots and um, you can do, especially with my other gardening set, I have really long rows of the gardening plots. And it's just, it's kind of hard to determine um, what size it should be. And then also visually for it to match up so uh ea actually gave you all a sprinkler i'm i'm blown away actually that they only gave you one sprinkler and it came in seasons which requires an ep so um if i didn't mention this before this gardening the no fig deal gardening set is totally base game compatible so but this is the one that came with seasons and um, similar to kind of how I was implementing the original version um, of the sprinkler, this one uh, only covers a certain area and it actually doesn't work inside. It only works outside. So that is really limiting, especially um, like for me when I, I used to build back in, back in my youth, I um, always built like kind of interior greenhouse style looks. And so that's why this was kind of limiting. And then, like I said, especially if you're having like a single planter, this is kind of overkill and doesn't really work with inside. So that was kind of the whole motivation with doing the no fig deal gardening set. Um, always kind of the cheater uh, <laughs> that I am in my heart. Um, I was like, well, if I'm making this, I might as well add fertilizing, weeding, and bugs. Um, I also didn't realize how complex the gardening is. 
So, um, also, if while you guys are in here, if you have any questions or um, feedback about the gardening in general, I've tried to look through it, just looking at the code, and um, I know there's, like, evolution and, like, fertilizing and, like, tons of different factors that go into gardening. I've heard people say it's too easy or it's um, way too hard, so... If any of you have feedback or um, want to give me any advice for improving this or tips for or requests for future gardening stuff, let me know because um, there it's definitely a ton of different features for the gardening for like all harvestables in The Sims. So how I actually ended up implementing this was using um, something similar to the pond object. So. Um, let me see if this will pull it up. Oh, I think we'll, we'll search mosquitoes. I think that's one of them. Oh, this one. So if it, this, this came out around the time, I think this was released in the patch right before uh, the cottage living one. And what's cool, what I really liked about these is I like that you could place them in build mode and then when you go out of build mode into live mode, it actually turns into, I don't know if you guys can see that. I probably chose not a very good one, but it turns into uh, the uh, FX, so visual effects. So if I say v VFX in this, that's what I'm talking about. But uh, so that's what I really liked about it because it was, it kind of lets you add all of these cool features in the world without visually taking up space and I wanted to take into consideration the players who do historical play mode and then also just you know regular play mode <laughs> and as typical I overthink everything and I started thinking well if it's inside what's the water spray gonna look like and do I mount it from the ceiling or the walls and what if it's a you know a really tall ceiling versus a short ceiling so as soon as I saw those VF VFX objects, I was like, that would be a really great way to implement these. So the first thing you'll want to do when, um, well, I guess the first thing we'll want to do is get some plants. <laughs> so um, this is actually one quick trick for you guys. I don't know if many of you know it that I will use to get some plants real quick. If you have um, testing cheats enabled, if you shift click on the ground, it pulls up a list of testing cheats and there's this setup lot here and I'll actually do it more in here. So if you just set up lot and then set up garden, it automatically creates like a bunch of these, um, like a ton of items for you. And those are actually kind of far out of the way. If they're off lot, you can't grab them. So um, <clears throat> you can only implement this do this cheat once. So if I set up the garden again, it'll just move everything, which is fine because I will just go in here and grab the stuff to plant. So, yep, we will just throw some of these guys in here. Tell me, did anyone else know about this cheat or use it? I love using the debug cheats. I think they're so great. And, yeah, we'll do... Maybe we'll, we'll leave that guy so we have a different a planter version. And then, what is that? I think that's parsley. or I mean, it actually looks like kale, but I don't think it is kale. All right, so then we'll grab these ones. Basil. Some onion. And a daisy. Oh, see, that can't go there. So we're full. All right, so I'll delete the rest of these. But yeah, I don't know if anyone else used that debug cheat, but... Uh, I, I love using it. And, okay. So, we need to make the girl plant some stuff real quick. So, I'm just going to go tell her to plant. And why she's doing that, I'm also going to cheat and add some oversized crop. To get to the add oversized crop, you can just click on the new planters. Um, so, just... Again, you have to hold down shift, so shift click, add debug oversized crop, and let's do watermelon. And so then that will add these guys. I don't like that. 
those aren't neat and clean. Um, and I think, I think this only works on the new planters. Yeah. Um, but, um, cause yeah, this, if you shift click on the older planters, it doesn't give you, um, you ha you have to have the new planters for the oversized crop, but, um, you can do this, put cottage living harvestables in Shim Sims inventory as well. And that'll put, um, a bunch of, I think, let's look at it. I think it puts a bunch of, um, yep, like they're already harvested items. So if you're wanting to grab a bunch of stuff, is this the welcome wagon? He's walking all over my crops, buddy. This is very nice. Um, but it puts a bunch of, I think these are the raspberries. So they put, oh, does I, I forget about the welcome wagon. I need to lock the door. <laughs> lock door for everyone right now. Um, no two, you're watching on Twitch because there's better video quality, but commenting on YouTube. I did not know there was better video quality. Um, <laughs> hopefully you missed the first five minutes when I was talking to myself the whole time when there was no audio quality. Um, and hello everyone else I'm missing. Linda, I'm glad you, uh, know and Christy truly know the, the joy that is those yellow sprinklers because they are wonderful. Okay, so we're almost done planting here. So obviously the the gardening set won't have any impact unless you have something gardened. Um, and for those of you who didn't know about the shift click sheet cheats, I'm about to show you so many of them. Um, I use them a lot in testing to like force states um, onto the plants themselves. And oh, she's not very happy. Let's go make her sit. And on my very first live stream, someone told me about the no autonomy thing for Sims, which just changed my whole life. So <laughs> thank you for that. Now they're not running all over the screen. Okay, so one thing we could do is we could just fast forward the time and let these grow. But on all of these plants, you can actually also, again, shift click. Um, and I'm just going to set the gardening state here. So the growth stage will do sprouted. Um, so, I mean, this is also something you could totally do to um, make your plants um, faster. But obviously, you just have to do them one by one, which is just, it's a lot of work. Um, especially if you have a huge garden. So, um, that's that was one of the motivations for this. And, but yeah, if you ever want to do like some quick fixes, this is one way to do them. I'm just going through and just setting these so that way we have something to look at when we put in the, uh, put, when we put in the sprinkler objects. So I'll do this one and then we'll let the other one. Plant evolution, by the way, please someone explain to me. <laughs> I don't understand what evolution is compared to growth. Um, I know that like watering and fertilizer impacts it, but I, I mean, to me, they seem kind of like the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> Someone enlighten me. Cause I'm very, very curious what, what they do. All right. We have our plants. So now that we have our plants, we will put in our signs. So like I said before, the, um, Gardening signs are meant to be invisible in live mode. And if you're looking for stuff, uh, you just search fig and that should pull up everything. And you can see here, I, I didn't put the signs themselves. So I tried to make them really visible as to um, what they were. Now, when I have the different objects, you'll see there's footprint sizes here. Now the footprint sizes actually correspond to the coverage area. So if you only have a one by one, like this would be perfect to use probably indoors or if you just have the single uh, plotters. And then the two by two obviously covers a two by two area. And then a four by four co covers like a really huge area. So this would be great for larger plants. Um, one thing to note, like in this case, how you have, if you were to place this here, if you have these plants 
which are like kind of on the edge of it, it might not totally get those. So just be careful. Um, like in this case, I would do um, two different ones for these just to make sure they get totally covered. Um, another cheat for you all, I think I'd tell you, I guess it's not really cheap, but that I mention every time. So if you see this, it's not quite lining up. Well, it's lining up with these ones, but not these ones right in the middle. And I have to put it in the middle for my own sanity. If you hit F5, it actually enables quarter tile placement. So I don't know if you can see that you have much finer resolution that way. So we'll toss these guys in. So we have all four planters gardening. I call these garden tenders. <laughs> it was kind of the best name I could come up with. So you have your garden tenders and garden controllers. So these are the garden tenders. These are what's at, what are actually controlling the area that is covered by um, whenever you're turning on water or the fertilizing. Each of these tenders will impact the area around it. So in this case, we have four of them. So all four of these areas will be um, watered or fertilized or however you um, manage your settings. And one other thing I also did is if you kind of want to put like different signs here in case maybe like um, you just want to do weeding or you just want to do fertilizing or watering, um, I put like little, or all, everything, I put these little different icons on there to kind of give you a visual reference of what you have set there. Because as soon as we go into live mode, these are all going to disappear, so you can't really hover over them to see how they're set. Um, so this is just a quick way in build mode to see, um, give yourself a little hint as to what setting you have on there. Now for a control, I'm just going to actually delete two of these because I want to show you that it's working just like in a certain area. So um, these two will be our control uh, plots, so our poor plots that are going to be neglected. And then these are going to be our plots that are nice and healthy. So over here, um, we have the garden tender. So, um, I, I thought it looked good against the wall, kind of like this. This is actually my utility panel. I'm going to show you at the end. And if you have, you can see a little sneak peek, the water and power generation going on here, but we'll, we'll cover that later. Um, I'm going to pull this guy over here just so we can look at it, be not move around so much. So yeah. So as of right now, the controller it manages the settings on all of the signs. Um, I'm thinking about adding signs that are visible in live mode so you can control them individually. So, um, But as of now, the controller just controls literally all of the tenders on the object. It doesn't matter, or on the lot. It doesn't matter what level it is or if it's inside or outside, it controls, um, it'll control all of them. So you only need one controller. All right, so when you first click on, oh yeah, if you see, so going into live mode, you see those disappear. So, hooray, it works. And I think that will work really well, especially like for historical players or, you know, greenhouses or whatever. But the one thing I could not figure out for historical players is what to do for a controller object. So if there are any historical players in here, let me know because I was kind of stumped on that also for the utility panel um, I was thinking of maybe like an engraved rock or something I don't know I got kind of stumped so if any historical players really love this set and want a different controller let me know because I was uh, a bit stumped as to what to do for this um, all right I'm gonna do a quick catch up on some questions before I go deeper um, Christy Payne, I love the little signs. Can we have one we can edit to show all the different plants? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can make a recolor for little garden stakes. I actually started making little garden signs, which is how I got the idea for these plant signs. Um, I was just going to make them uh, decor, 
but um yeah i could i could make them a recolor file this this kind of stuff especially like a sign is pretty pretty easy to do and natasha db i i love that could you maybe make that black water pump as a controller as well for historical gameplay uh black water pump i'm trying to think oh the one the the frog spawner one like it's like the metal one i think um, I think that's the one you're talking about. There's also a really cute spigot that came with, a, um, this one too. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can totally add those in. So no problem. <laughs> and Luca and Debbie, I hope I'm saying Lucindy Debbie. Um, I'm so glad you love the pet indoor potty. That was one of my favorite sets to do. And thank you everyone for telling me what evolution does because I was truly confused as what they do. Okay, so are you guys all ready for this? So um, what we'll do, so I put in a few kind of checks for you. So when you first click on this, you can see enable automation and turn on. It's not going to let you do that. And if you hover over it, it says at least one of the controller settings must be enabled before you can turn on the garden tenders or automatic plant care system. So that's just a check t reminding you that you don't have anything actually turned on. If you ever get confused, this is something I typically do with all my sets uh, that I've done recently. I always put in like a little help um, information that you can just quickly look at in game so you don't have to like run to my website or anything else and there's also these are also links too so if you ever have quite more questions you can go here and this is basically a summary of what I've told you in the past 30 minutes in a short little snippet so don't forget you can always look there if you need some more help okay so for this um, we you can enable one of these or all of these when you enable them, it's just turning on the setting. It's not actually enabling the, the um, actually allowing it to work. That will be these two. So we'll go ahead and we'll enable watering and pest control and weeding. A uh, weeding I like to do mostly just because it's very visual. Um, and before we turn it on, um, again here I am doing shift click, set gardening state, and we're gonna make these guys really bad. So we're gonna give this guy, we'll make him just a little weedy. Some of them actually don't have like a ton of weeds. Um, it just depends on the plant. Like some of them actually like, they are affected by weeds, but visually not, don't have weeds, which is kind of weird. I don't know why some are different than others. Um, but, yeah, I, I thought they actually did really good with these weeds. I thought they looked good. <laughs> As Well, they're not, like not good, but um, they're, you know, they're good weeds. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed this. This is in some of them, too. You can change them to in and out of season. So I'm just showing all the cheaters. Where are my cheaters out there? <laughs> I was always the cheater. Um, Jean Hodges, can we customize the filth? fertilizer type not at the moment but hang tight till the end of this show because I've been working on a compost bin so we'll talk about for more fertilizing options at the end um but I am willing to update this for different ways for y'all okay um oh it's getting late it's almost 11 p.m in the game so let's get some insects in there we'll make this infested okay so this is getting <laughs> these are getting really gnarly so if I remember, I think these two were the control states, um, these two boxes. Okay, so these are looking really bad right now. I don't know how bad. You, you guys should tell me how bad quickly these get this bad. Because I noticed they grow like really fast, which I was surprised about. But okay, so just a quick check again. We have the two tenders here on these two ones and these ones do not have tenders so what we should see happen is we should see the weeds and the bug infestations go away on here and then these ones should also be watered 
And then these ones should have no, no change in them. Um, and I guess I should make one of these like withered so you can, oops, moisture, like arid. Okay. So this, that way we can see the watering effects. All right. So we have it all set. Um, what we can do is if you turn this on, it basically runs continuously nonstop. Um, this will use water resources if you have watering enabled. So um, if you're worried, if you're like off the grid or something like that, I would recommend doing the automation. I really just put this put this option for like an immediate option because the automation, it r runs once a day at 6 a.m. So I think it runs from 6 to 7 a.m. every day in Sims time. Um, but like if you're worried about your plants dying and you need to get it done really quick, um, you can use this turn on feature. So um, right now I'm just going to do the turn on feature and we're ready for some magic to happen. There we go. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So you can see this one. Nothing happened to it. This one's looking good. Um, the watering it, over a period of an hour, it like slowly starts to water more and more. There you go. You can see the other ones just got watered. And then um, this one, since it was drier than the other ones, it should slowly get more and more water as time goes. So um, obviously, if you have the uh, automatic watering uh, or the automatic system enabled, it runs every day at 6 a.m. So it should never get this bad. I don't know. Maybe I killed this one. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe because it's out of season. I don't know why it's not as dark as the other ones. But yeah. Okay, yeah. So you can see now um, as time has gone, now they're dripping with water. So um, the the fertilizing works similar to the water as in it it increases over time. And then with the weeding. Oh, there, there he goes. Um, the weeding and the bugs is pretty automatic visually. Um, it does work a little bit slower on the background. But... Um, it, it doesn't, uh, kind of give you this slow visual like these ones do. So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts so far? Do you guys love it? Um, I'm, I was really excited about this one when I made it work. So, um, yay. Um, okay. Before I go on and show you the automatic, let me check up with some questions is it possible to create a version where we need a certain amount of water or fertilizer to enable it? <laughs> like the stuff has to come from somewhere, right? Perhaps for our simple living lot players. That's from No Chew. Um, I hope I, I hope I'm saying your name right, No Chew. Um, yes, yes, I I know I'm <laughs> I'm a cheater. <laughs> you got me. Um, this does use water resources um, for the fertilizing. I wasn't really sure the best way to implement that. I was thinking I could possibly charge your Sims for it might be the best way. The problem with if you start having to like adding fertilizer to it, um, it's, it starts being a hard upkeep and like tracking problem. Whereas like I'm, there's a lot of different tenders on the lot and then you need to be able to distribute, you know, where, what fertilizer goes where. So I guess this is meant to be more of a simple fix. Um, yeah, I'll keep thinking on that. It's just, uh, it gets really hard to manage all of these plants because they all have so many different features. I mean, the the amount of harvestables and plants in this game is, is unreal. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can improve that. It just, yeah, it just becomes a bit of a problem for... I think probably the best way to do it, honestly, would just be to charge your sim, like, every time it runs. Um, and then I can charge, you know, just, like, if you have fertilizing enabled, charge you for just the fertilizer. Or if you're doing the weeding and the bugs, I can add additional charges for each one. So um, if you all would like something like that, let me know. I can add that in. Um, right now it does use the water resources, but... Um, yeah, it kind of it does the weeding and stuff for free. <laughs> um, but 
So um, I want to show you, so we'll turn this off. So these don't get watered anymore. So like I said, the automatic should run every day between 6 to 7 a.m. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn on um, uh, to enable automation. And I'm going to go in here and make these bad again. Again, for everyone who popped in late, what I'm doing here is if you click shift, shift click on your plants, you can go in here and um, manually set like the gardening state for each one. So I use a lot of cheats like this um, when I'm just testing my items just so I can like throw weeds on there and you know make them really infested. That way I don't have to wait for, for bad things to happen. Um, so let's see what else. We want some insects. Oh, I probably need to make that bigger. We'll give we'll give this guy insects. The bugs are really intense when they're infested. I was I was quite surprised. And like I said, not all of them. Um, so you can see some of them don't like these ones have small smaller insects. So depending on like what plant you have, they each will look a little bit different, and sometimes they actually don't have bugs visually. So, we have uh, automatic on, so you can see it says disable automation, so that is on. And we have, just to remind you, only these two have the, the signs. So, at 6 a.m., um, these should start improving, and then these ones should have no change. Oh my gosh, a cow plant! I don't think I've ever seen one of these, like, actually in game. <laughs> like, I've never planted one. That's funny. Hi, Kahe. I hope I said that right. Thanks for being here. Um, okay, so we have two and a half hours till the automatic system comes on. Oh, my poor girl. I wonder where she is. She's still sitting on the bed. Oh, oh, poor You can come here. We'll come move you here. You can come inside and sit on the couch. Oh, huh? If you don't want to, that's fine. You do you, girl. You do you. So these plants are looking real bad. I guess here we'll make this one. Oh, I'll have to see what that is. I have no idea. Um, moisture will make this dry too. So it's going. And yeah, so like I said, this these control all of them, so I can try and like split them up, but this was really geared towards um, people with like really large gardens that are hard to manage. So, um, and you can use uh, like the smaller footprints. If you miss the beginning, you can do a one by one footprint. Oh, <laughs> I locked the door on my sim, Christy. Uh, that's probably why. <laughs> Oops, I'll go unlock it for in a second. We're almost show time here. She's got to wait. Um, but yeah, there's a one by one footprint, four by four and two by two. So 6 a.m. Boom. It's so beautiful. So again, like when we turned it on before, um, the watering kind of, uh, the weeds and bugs kind of go away immediately as, as far as visually. Um, and then the watering state, these will slowly get watered more and more over time. There we go. Um, and soon they'll start dripping, um, but this does have a shutoff time at 7, so they might not get to the dripping stage. We'll see. Nope, so they didn't make it. So these won't be dripping. Um, but yeah, so that that's basically how how it works. Um, I hope, hopefully, like, the live mode, uh, live mode, uh, build mode thing isn't too hard. Um... So, but yeah, I definitely, so I'm looking through, I'm definitely seeing people want to sit, add additional charges for the fertilizer. So I will do that. Um, I'll add charges for the fertilizer and bug spray. The watering does use your water uh, resources. So uh, do you guys, is that fair enough for the water? Do you want me to charge for water too? I can do it either way. And then also the watering, uh, usage, the larger your, 
uh, footprint, the more water it uses. So like the smaller footprints use less water um, utilities, and then the bigger footprint footprint ones use larger utilities. Um, Palm Bob Galaxy, I have a small question. How possible is it to make the growth time for the plants slower? They've always grown too fast for my liking, especially when playing a longer lifespan. Though with how complex the gardening and the game is, um, this might be a complex question to answer. It actually, so there actually are a lot of things that go into how fast um, they grow. It, I, they do grow pretty fast, though. I was really surprised. Um, I think... I can, I'll take a peek at the coating at the end, but, um, again here, this is, uh, if you just do shift click, set gardening state, I think maybe I'll look into this more, but I think if you set it like dormant or out of season, it grows slower. Um, so you, you might be able to make it grow slower that way. Um, let me jot down a note. I'll look into that more. Um, but I do know like how, like the health of the plant, like how if, it, if it's fertilized and watered and, you know, healthy, it grows faster. So uh, this set will definitely probably not help you all that much. But um, I don't know, maybe I can make like a grow slow serum. Because I've noticed that too, but only on some of them. Like, some of the plants grow really slow, and some of them grow really fast. Um, Natasha DB, how about three types of fertilizers? Low, medium, strong. The better the fertilizer, the more you pay. Is that something you guys want different fertilizer strengths? Because I can totally, I can totally add that in. I'm making notes. I'm, <laughs> I'm a paper and pen kind of gal because I'm an old lady, so <laughs> I, let me... Jot these notes down. Yeah, um, and so these changes, I probably won't be able to get to them right away, like adding the cost and the fertilizer, but I'll try and get to them in the next week or two. I've really been doing a ton of stuff for gardening, so um, I feel like all I've been doing is is gardening and farm stuff, so... Um, Let's see. Okay. So is there anything else you all want to see with these? Um, oh, one quick before I leave these. Again, with the shift click, with these watermelons and stuff, you can, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can select oversized crop growth. Oh, I think that's just the growth. I know there's some way to, like, change it. Oh, yeah, the crop yield. So you can switch this really quick. So if, if, you all want to switch this in your game. That That is a quick way to do it. And I think these have some more options for the other ones. Um, also, if you shift click on these planters, I think it, yeah, it gives you crop supplies. I'm not 100%. Yeah, it gives you like all of the seeds and stuff. Plum Bob Galaxy, will this also work with custom, will this will also work with custom plants as well, right? Yep, that is correct. As long as it, uh, uses like gardening and fertilizer, it will impact everything. <laughs> I'm seeing everyone telling me <laughs> that the doors are locked. I totally forgot. Um, Queen Sunday, what strength of fertilizer is the system using? I don't technically know because I just used a number. <laughs> um, I think I used the medium, like just the average. Um, I'll double check that, but I am going to add options in for you to choose the strength. So, so I will add that in. Um, let's see. Do you all have any uh, other questions? Natasha, I see your question. I'll answer that in a second. Let me scroll through and see what I missed. Um, so Jean Hodges, uh, Maybe you could have a separate tender for the oversized crops. They don't have as many fertilizer options as regular plants. They they don't actually, but uh, technically on on the back end on my coding side, they use the same. Uh, it's called a, a commodity. Uh, they actually use the same commodity um, 
so they're all tied to the same like fertilizing statistic um but the objects in the game that are used to fertilize them are different so the tenders uh, actually work the same for both but if i do the small like high medium uh, low quality fertilizers i can see about adding um one for the plants um but technically like at the end uh at the end of the day, the game considers them all the same fertilizing. Whew, it is hot. Is it hot for everyone else? It's been like 100 degrees here. My office is in like the top floor. <laughs> I'm trying to turn on my fan because I'm dying of heat, but it's not working. Ugh. Okay, Trish Cat. This is a little off topic, but I really wanted to know what happened to the Simi Porcher update. Ooh, don't you want to know? Um, I actually... Okay, well, let me, before I get off topic and start talking about works in progress, do we have any final questions before I go into some, uh, some of the work in progress stuff? While you all are doing that, I'm going to let you grab questions. I am just going to pop in here because that, and just check what that last exception was. I know it wasn't my, 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 uh, plants. I have a bunch of testing stuff in here to show you. So, oh, dang it. It's a vertical planting meat cube jerky. I heard someone else ha saying they're having problems from that. I wonder what that's from. Weird. All right. I don't even think there is meat cubes in here. Um, Gene Hodges, uh, if you look at my live stream I did just previous to this one, uh, I kind of did a behind the scenes look at the coding. I think I showed uh, what I looked into the coding for the um, the fairs, I think. Is that what they're called? The Finchwick Fair. Um and a few other things, but I, I love coding. So in my previous life, I was an electrical engineer. So I actually got my master's in that. And so I've been coding for 15 years. So that's why if you kind of noticed a lot of my newer sets have, have kind of moved more towards coding. Um, just cause I really, I really love it. And I think it's cool to kind of marry the two together. Um, Kahe, I hope I'm saying that right, but I'm so happy you like the curtain mods. I need to make a, a middle panel. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for that, like a middle uh, panel that goes all the way edge to edge so you can kind of tile them uh, around the, make it so it's got like one long back sheer panel. So one of many things I'm working on. Okay. So I think if that's all, um, like I said, I, I am planning to add the yellow sprinkler system. And then uh, I have notes here to look uh, into adding costs for the weeds and bugs. And then also add different fertilizing options. I did say it right the first time. Yay. <laughs> oh, okay. I am just going to point this out. <laughs> Majik, i probably still not saying your name right. But I'm so happy you guys love the website. If you all have more questions for um, or improvements for it, let me know. And actually, while we're on that topic, real quick before I show you the work in progress, um, I did make an update to my website recently. So um, I know a lot of people get confused where uh, to find, like, I don't, I know a lot of people who have Patreon, they release their stuff through Patreon, but I actually really don't like the way the Patreon platform is set up. Um, it's, it, it doesn't give me tons of customization options and I'm not like a huge fan, but, um, with the, with my website, I get like a ton of control. So I release all, everything public is on my website. So Unless you're a patron, uh, you don't really need to even go there, and it's it's not that great <laughs> of a platform. I mean, my I love interacting on there and stuff, but as far as releasing content, it's not easy to organize. But you'll see here, I started. Um, oh, these aren't really access. 
Oh, this one, this one is. So I started adding all of my stuff that is early access onto my website. So you can start, go here if you want to see to what day it's public release. Um, and then I made it also set so it automatically uh, releases on the public release date at midnight. I think I did midnight uh, UTC. So um, that way, if I'm busy or I'm not by my computer, I don't, you all don't have to wait because I know, um, especially for something you're excited about, it's kind of a bummer <laughs> if I'm, if I haven't gotten around to it yet. So, okay, so let's get into some work in progress. Magic! You told me that every time, every time I ask you how to pronounce your name and every time you're like, uh, duh, it's magic, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Thanks you, thank you for telling me again. Okay, so this utility panel, uh, okay, I, I think I showed this my very first live stream um, <laughs> and here we are, uh, what is it? It's almost September <laughs> and I still haven't released it. Um, so, um, but so again, I'll preface for historical players. I have no idea what kind of object you want for a utility panel. Like I said, I was thinking of like an, ins an inscribed like rock of some sort. So, uh, if you have any ideas, let me know, but I actually did custom animation with this too. And um, really the, what I wanted to do for this, there's some cool features on here. The main one being, if you see when you have the tooltip and you hover over it, it's got water and power. Now, um, and you can see also it says the daily and water power settings are combined with the rest of the lot and will affect for better or worse, the cost of utilities on bills. So, um, uh, this is still a work in progress, so you'll see there's like multiple options in here. But basically, you can just come in here and then set the daily power. Um, neutral, small power, this is 10 units, 25 units, and then like if we want large power production, it's 50. Um, and then same here with daily water, you can do um, medium, small, medium, or large. And I think I, I need to fix the the lettering or numbering on the power. Let's change it to one that matches correctly. Yeah, there we go. So you can see when you hover over it, it changes to the settings you have. And then if you go here into your bills and utilities, um, you can see that right here, right, we're doing nine a day. And then this is 45, negative 45. Man, stuff draws so much power. But um, yeah, so you can come here. I don't know if that's enough for you guys too. I mean, I can add like a hundred power production. I don't really have like a good uh, idea of, of what kind of power uh, you would need, but you can see here, right? So now that rate of change went to three from negative, whatever, whatever it was before. Um, but so yeah, this was, uh, the goal of this was, I know this is kind of cheating, but um, <laughs> well, one, I, I do make cheats in there for people, but um, I do know that uh, there are some lots, and especially I think it came with the snowboarding pack um, that actually came with like an automatic power draw, um, even without anything on it. So the goal of this was to kind of help offset that and then also just make it easier for players to live off the grid because I think living off the grid is a really cool feature. And something that uh, I, I mean, I would really like, and I think it goes really well with this theme, but it is really hard to do power and water generation, um, especially too, like the objects are so ugly. So I do have um, on my website, if you didn't know about this, let me go here back and show you. Um, I think it's called Eco. I should remember. Alter Ego. Eco. So um, I do have this set. Um, and this comes with a bunch. Um, this is the spigot. I forget who mentioned that in the beginning. Who asked for that to be as the controller. Um, but the, I actually do have the spigot, the spigot, the well, um, and like this water tower, these all generate water. And then there's also, I have like a roof mounted, uh, one that, 
uh, has, um, what's it called? A weather vane um, that is on here as well um, that produces power. And I think there's one other thing. I, I don't want to click that because that takes you to the Sims resource. Um, and I'm not logged in, so there's it's not as pretty <laughs> when you're not logged in. Um, does this replace solar panels? Chrissy, it does not replace anything. It just adds to it. So um, if this would be used in conjunction with solar panels, so if you want to be like if you want to be more realistic, I think it'd be good to like you know have some solar panels. But if you're really struggling to like meet your power needs, you can kind of just use this as a little boost, <laughs> a little a little cheat. Um, right now, uh, the things I have left to do with this are to, um, I wanted to add like either like a handiness or some kind of skill for upgrading that so it wasn't like fully cheating. Um, and I have a few other options I need to finish up on it. But the idea of this was to make it like a full home lock controller so one other cool feature i put on here um is this repair or upgrade an object so um let's see let's redo this rich by the way can i say how much i love these colors blue is like this is like my favorite color ever and they just put it put it everywhere um like the walls it's all so beautiful um, I just reset that fridge because I had already upgraded it, so I wanted to uh, reset it. So if you look here on the fridge, we can um, upgrade it, and you can see like there's all of these options. And then so one thing I added on this panel is repair, upgrade an object, and this basically just lets you it gives you a list of all the things you can upgrade, um, and so you can. Basically, just come in here and click, and it should um, automatically upgrade it for you. There's still, you can see now when I hover, it's got that green eco footprint. There are some things uh, that I haven't added yet, like the, um, you can see it upgraded these four things, but it didn't upgrade the two things that um, require parts. Um, so uh, I do need to figure that out maybe I'll add something here where it just automatically creates it but yeah I just thought again the cheater in me <laughs> I'm really realizing how much I cheat um I just I like the there's some parts of the game that I don't really care for so <laughs> that this was my attempt well and st stuff by the way in the code stuff breaks so much I think I think showers like the standard shower, I know there's different levels of quality. I think they break like every 15 uses. Like what shower ever breaks every 15 uses? And same, I think there's also like a 70% chance of creating a puddle every time you get out of shower. There's like no way to fix that. Um, also, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. But did you guys know there is like a rubber duck puddle? Has anyone ever seen this in the game? Okay, I'm going to pull this up on the side so I can show you guys because there it's it's so cute. <laughs> it's like this literally a rubber duck puddle and it, it happens, but it's like really rare because I was like, where does this happen? <laughs> Hard knock life. Annie, little orphan, little orphan Annie reference there. Um, Has anyone ever seen the rubber duck puddle? Because I like... I think it's so cute. Hold on, I'm pulling it up on my other screen to pull up on the screen to show you. Oh, Delagrass. Oh, she beat me to it. Okay, so you guys have seen it. I was like, how did, okay, Magic, how did she get it to show up? Oh, okay, Christy, I'll, okay, I'll pull it up to show you. Oh, what a, oh, did I hit M? Oh, I hate hitting M. Oh my gosh, do I hate I, if I could disable anything in the game, it would be hitting the M key because I do it all the time and it's so frustrating. Um, I wonder how Delagrassi got it to pull up in her game. Um, because I have not, I like it's, it looks like that it's just a puddle that's created like very randomly. So um, I'm pulling it up for you here. 
let's see, petal. Let me make sure you all can see this. Uh, I think it's one of these. It's so cute though. It must be the large one. Medium, medium, small, large. Okay, if this isn't in here, I won't. There we go. Look how cute that is. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so if you've never seen that, this apparently is a puddle that you can get to show up every once in a while when like you get out of the shower or something breaks. So um, yeah, it's so cute. But I've never seen it in the game, even though my stuff ends up breaking all the time. But yeah, I thought that was a cute little thing. Um, Christy, can, we, can the panel make everything on the lot break? not break anymore. Yeah. So I don't think everything has a unbreakable feature, but, um, I w was going to have this, um, upgrade an ob like be able to upgrade everything. And then also, um, let's just go ahead and break this. There we go. Oh, we didn't get the duck puddle. Um, but we'll break that. And then if you have broken stuff on the lot, it should, it's not, it's not. This is why it's a work in progress. Let's break something else and see if it works. There, there we go. Um, so uh, I'm also having it so you can repair it. So uh, just get a visual of the the shock, the shocking going on over there. We'll repair it, um, and it should be good. Yeah, there we go. Look, it's all fixed. Um, so that that is was kind of one of the goals of of the utility panel. So like I said, I wanted to make it like an all in one lot controller. So yeah. So right now you can control the water, daily power, daily water, repair and upgrade an object. Um, I'm afraid to do this if it breaks. Well, this is kind of the original idea I had. Okay. So this is the custom animation I added in. Um, so before I showed you just did automatically, the idea is for it to look, look at that. Look at this boss woman fixing her house. Oh, it doesn't line up. Don't look at, don't look at it that way. But yeah, I animated it with this panel. So like it actually opens and stuff. And then the, I also think I had it be a fire sprinkler box. So it's really like a catch all utility panel box, um, which is probably why I've been working on it since February. So, but yeah, I'm really excited for that, but, um, I will definitely, um, I'm glad you like the repair features. I, if you guys want more upgrade features and also please, please let me know. Um, I, for me, I'm like, I just want to fix it without, without being burdened with anything. But if you guys want, I can make this like require a handiness skill or, um, you know, uh, I think is there an, there's handiness and I know there's like some like make awesome knack trait. Some, I think is what it's called. Um, but if you want me to ha like require them to have some sort of handiness or make this take longer if they're less skilled, um, right now, technically I have it, uh, like this is immediate, but my idea was to add at least some sort of animation or something like this. You can see she's, look at her, she's being handy. Um, yeah, for these. So, or, or if you want, like I can require like an upgrade part, like to upgrade everything. So whatever you all think is best, best for that one. Uh, Christy, you're like me. No, no handiness skill needed. I love to cheat too. I know. My sister, my older sister, Mandy, she said the reason I didn't uh, enjoy playing the game is because um, I cheated too much. Uh, she said I would enjoy it more if I didn't cheat. So I was like, oh, she might have a point there. Okay. This last one. Let's see. Allow access to Cecilia. Um, this last one, by the way, these beans are so cute. I love them. This is annoying me. We'll get rid of this. Oh, um, I, I'm shift clicking on the fridge. I showed this in, 
someone asked me this in my Discord. If you do this give ingredients thing, uh, if you shift click on any fridge, this will give you um, all of the cooking ingredients. So, um, if you want to, to do that, um, if you want the ingredients. Also, I just clicked on the fridge. If you shift click on the fridge reset object, that'll also fix it too. Uh, okay, so I want her to teleport here. Really, you guys see this cute little notebook here? Um, so this was a request in my Discord channel. And uh, someone showed me they were using my uh, photos, like the family or uh, the... Gosh, I have so many sets. Photographic memory. The photographic memory set, the one where you can create duplicates of prints. They showed me that they were using it to actually, um, like, take notes on it. And so I thought it was a really cool idea. So I ended up making this little guy, which I'm almost finished with. Ignore the icon. That's going to change. But basically, this is, uh, this is my little notebook entry I put in here today. And it basically lets you make, like, little notebook entries. So um, you can have, like, memory details, add a mood list. So if, like, this, we want this to be, like, a happy memory. Um, and that closed just because it's in this inventory. We can pull it out. If you pull it out, it just looks like these little notebook things. And then when you hover over it, it's got the notes on it. And then, look, I made it so you could recall, like, the happy moments. Um, I need to edit it. Right now, it doesn't, you can't recall happy moments when it's in the journal entry. But if you see here, if she, did she recall the happy moment? Did you recall the happy moment, miss? Oh, there she goes. Oh, now she's remembering. There we go. Look at her from a happy memory. Um, yes, a memory system. So yeah, look, and then in here, you can go and change author. So like if you wanted a different sim to write it instead of her, um, and then you can also do memory details. Um, and so like, uh, you can edit all these. So I'll add a new one cause I, I added a cute little, um, oh, also you can, for the notebook, you can also like, if you want this to be her notebook, I didn't add um, like an actual sim, uh, I guess ownership of it. And the reason I didn't do that was because if your sim like passes away, I wanted you to be able to like access it still. And if it was locked to, um, a sim, your other sims wouldn't be able to access it. So, um, it, so if you want, you can come in here and like, you can define her as the author, which it'll say, um, oh, Ignore the fresh smart thing. <laughs> That's not what this is. But you can see it show, put her name there, Cecilia King. And then uh, details, we'll put Cecilia's, oh gosh, I'm butchering that. Cecilia's garden journal. Right? And then you can be like, all my daily listings of plants I've killed <laughs> or, or something but you can have as many of these as you want um and then I'm also I think I'm gonna make these right now they go on the floor but I thought it'd be cool to like have them so they can go on the wall but so each entry you can pull out um pull out and put in the world or store in here and uh Christy just asked so if she is the author it will it is it only her memories? No, um, you don't even have to put an author on there. I just made that like as an option. So when you hover over it, it can like give you some more information. Um, and, but this, this can be anyone's memories. Like you can, she's the only one in this household, um, which is why it's only showing her as an option, but you can put like all of your Sims memories in there. Um, from like, I think I let you choose uh, the author to be any, any sim in the household. So you can make this a collection of all your sims. Um, and for the moodlet, I think I showed that, but, uh, oh, I just, oh, 
yeah, so right right here, it's a recall a happy moment. But if you do, um, if you come in here, you can remove the moodlet um, and then add a different one. So you said inspiring. So yep, there is an inspiring. So, and then recall an inspiring moment. Look, oh, she's so inspired. Yep, there we go. So yeah, I gave this like the reminiscing feature, so I thought that was cool. And then if you want to add a new entry, look, she was just writing in her notepad. Look how cute it is. Um, and then the first thing that pops up is the memory details. So if you don't add anything here, it it just like leaves the defaults. But um, so live streaming with my friends. And then um, right now I have that little icon. I have this little icon, which is like the blurry photo icon. Um, and, uh, but I was going to add different um, icons depending on the moodlet. So that way when you look at it, you can kind of almost see it like a calendar view with like a happy face and a you know, a sad face or, um, I think I chose like 30 different icons, um, for this, which I haven't added in yet, but that was the plan. And the only things in here, nothing auto goes in here. And in fact, um, you can't put anything but these notebook entries in there. Um, and I did that specifically because I wanted this to be like, just like a notebook. Um, cause I have tons of other options, but like, for example, I can't put these uh in the notebook um or what's something else that can go into an inventory i think yeah plants right um but yeah i i put a test on here and it tests specifically that these it's one of these notebook entries so but yeah i thought that was really cool um and then i'm working on like different tool tips to make this uh i'm probably gonna have like add like a little purple text uh, to it to like say who the author is. Um, and then I, I can put, and then like I said, I'll put the little icon on here. I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me, but <laughs> I'm going to put a little icon on here so uh, you can kind of see like a calendar view or like if it's a happy one. Um, the scary one could be the paranormal ghost thing. Yeah, okay, I'll show you. I'll post um, all of the different icons that I have made on here um, so far. Because I, I made a bunch of different ones. So, and yeah, anyone who's considered a sim, like you could even have your dog do a journal entry if you wanted. Um, okay, so that is one of them. And then someone, a few people have been asking about fertilizer. Oh, it's not in here. Dang it. So I also have him working on a compost bin. So this would essentially, I am pulling it up on my computer to show you because it's not in the game. Uh, so the compost bin, uh, it's weird because I looked into the composting and actually uh, the... It's weird because the only thing that requires composting or even like uses composting, as far as I can tell, are these bugs. Um, I don't know. I, I don't understand why these need compost. <laughs> I don't, someone please explain this to me or if there is a different way to use compost. Um, but uh, so I wanted a way to make a compost bin just that way it's more like realistic, like you put your food scraps in there and I, I was going to add like little like fish bones or something to make it kind of cool. Um, and then the plan was to like let you be able to drag any of like your food scraps and stuff like that. Um, sorry, I'm <laughs> trying to find this in my messy folders um, so I can show you this. Yeah, it feeds the, is that all it does is feed the bugs, the compost? I don't get that. So I don't know if you guys can see this. This is my um, compost bin as it is. Um, I'm going to finish this composting thought real quick so I don't get too distracted, but I'm seeing lots of questions about the journal, so I'll go back to those. But this is how the compost bin, um, I kind of made it generic because I wanted something that would match with 
um, a lot of different play styles. So this is how it looks um, just in Sims 4 Studio. This is this is transparent. It always looks kind of weird, um, but they're they're actually like little sticks and stuff. Um, Natasha, I don't know if the compost is fertilizer for plants. Uh, I couldn't tell, honestly. Um, but I don't know how... It was hard for me to try and figure out where you get compost other than it looks like you can sort through already existing trash to get compost. Um, but the idea with this was to actually like uh, have your sim like go and put their food scraps or drag and drop food scraps or gardening scraps. And then like after like a five days... Um, and depending on like what things were put in there, it'll actually produce fertilizer. So that was my idea for this. Um, you know, if you guys want something else or you don't really care about this too, let me know. Um, this was just one of the, I think a few people asked about this, but this was kind of where I was going with the compost bin. Um, but yeah, and then I would basically make this so it would produce different types of fertilizer, um, and then after a certain amount of time, so make it kind of like an in real life composter. Uh, Natasha, I did look at that bucket too. Um, and uh, magic, the toilet can give it to you if you upgrade. I saw that. I want, do they just go and pick up like the blue trash bag from that? <laughs> because I know it like comes in like a little trash bag. Um, ooh, no. We just want to get rid of this. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the journal because I see there were lots of questions on it. No Chu. No Chu, I hope I'm saying your name right. Will each of the journals have their own unique inventory so that each journal can be filled with memories of each sim in your household? Yes, they can. Let's actually go to a different family so I can show you with more people. Christy, I, I know you can fertilize with dog poop. I do know that as well. There's actually rainbow dog poop, which is like the best fertilizer you can get as far as the coating goes, um, which I thought was pretty funny. Natasha, if you don't dispose it in your toilets, it go, if you don't dispose it, your toilets go up in flames every now and then. That's what the flaming toilet award is for, I'm guessing. <laughs> I, I think there, I'm pretty sure there's a flaming toilet award. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. That is funny. Okay. No, I'm glad I'm saying your name right. I, if you ask my boyfriend who is moderating this, I literally mispronounce like the, I think, what did I, I called feta cheese, like feta cheese for so long. It's like, I'm good at math. I can't, I can't, can't be good at everything. Okay. And pronunciation is probably not. Although, I am really good at spelling and grammar, despite what my social media posts look like. <laughs> I, can, I just get a little bit lazy with them sometimes. Okay, so this is a big family. So let's look at these. Oh, wow, look how cute that is. I really haven't looked at some of this so much because I've been so... Look at those. That is so cute. I love that. How funny. Also... I, I actually did look at this earlier. Does anyone know why this object just has one hook? Please tell me. I don't. I I thought it was for something and like it's got to have a use. Hi, Diego. Thanks for joining us now. We're going over journals. D Sims. Hello. Hello. You're here. We're going over for everyone who just popped in. We are going over the new journals. Um, so we covered all of the gardening stuff already, but that's all in the beginning. So you can um, go back and search that right now. Everyone seemed pretty excited about these journals. So we're going to talk about them. So, uh, right now I only have one cover. So, um, I'll, they won't be different at the moment. By the way, did anyone else ever look at this journal from far away and think that was dog face or is that just me? Like this pink one. To me, I always thought that was a dog face. It's actually a heart lock. <laughs> but to, I thought that was like the yellow part was like the face. And then like the dark pink, pink part was ears. Um, but I looked at it closer and it's actually a heart lock. <laughs> but from far away, I think it looks like a dog. I don't know. Someone make me feel better and tell me you thought that too. My older sister said she thought it was a dog face too. So 
I at least feel validated there. Okay, so someone asked, I think it was Nochu, if um, the notebooks can have separate inventories and like if they can be passed down um, from generation to generation, that is totally correct to both of those. You can have as many of these as you want. They will each have totally separate inventories. They will not be owned by a sim though. Um, and I did that specifically because if a sim, uh, when I say they won't be owned by a sim, I mean, uh, the coding on the back end, I can make things that, so that they are, they're literally called ownable by a sim. And what that does, that's like when you have a laptop and you can lock the laptop and lock like your roommates out of it. When you make something ownable, when that sim passes away, it kind of locks all the other sims out from using it. So I didn't want to make it ownable, um, like technically on the back end. But like as far as like visually in the UI, I did make it so you can add an author. And so for this, you can come in here and select whoever you want the journal author or owner to be. So, oh, this guy's handsome. Hello. I like you. Um, so, and then it should, we'll do edit, we'll do details. Oh, I don't know his name. Handsome guys journal. His ramblings. Ramblings of my day, my days. So you can do like a top level journal description and then, um, and then there's, uh, and then within this, let's get him over here. Oh, he, if, oh, I'm like, go inside if you're unhappy, all of them, but I turned off autonomy, so none of them can come inside. All right, let's get you guys inside. Sometimes when I'm testing, I like forget to bring people inside and then they like die <laughs> when they, uh, I feel bad. I feel bad sometimes. Okay, so for him, right, we're going to make this, it should, um, we're going to create an entry. So look at him. Look at him creating an entry with his cute little notebook. Um, and then so we're going to be like, looked, looked at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I looked great today. It, <laughs> I was having a great hair day, whatever you want to put. And uh, you can even like put the date in here. I gave, I tried giving this as much, uh, like as many characters as you can have in here. Um, so you don't need to put the author's name here because I actually um, made a tool tip so that it shows their name when you hover over it. So... Um, we can just say, oh, holy moly, August 15th. All right, so then what that'll do, and then I plan to also make this pop up automatically. And again, ignore the blurry photo icon. I have, um, I, I'll pull up the icons I've saved at the end. Um, cause I saved like a ton of them. Um, cause I thought it'd be cool for like weddings and births and, uh, like, all different, all different ones. But so you can see here when you hover over it, um, it says in purple Thomas Watson. So you can see who wrote it. If you happen to click like the wrong sim when you were writing it, um, you can just go to edit and then you can change the author. Um, so if you wanted to easily change it that way. And um, then two, we can edit, we can, uh, the memory details that lets you go in and change the entry at any point. And then, uh, then we can add a moodlet and we'll make this a confident memory because he thought he was looking good. So, um, like I said, you can drag and drop these in the live world and they actually look like little notebooks. And then if you hover over it in here, um, you can see he looked at himself in the mirror and, uh, right now they're flat, but I, I was going to make these to be able to like go on the wall or go on, um, like the cork boards, um, or something, uh, like on the walls. Sorry. I just scrolled down to see the chat. I didn't, it wasn't scrolling for me and thank you. Hello. I'm so happy you guys all thought it was a dog because it totally 
looks like a dog. <laughs> I feel so validated right now. Okay, I have to go back to this because I'm so excited you guys just said that. It is not a dog. Look, it's a heart. Look, it's a heart lock. Look at that. How? <laughs> it totally looks like a dog. I'm so happy you guys thought that. It's actually really cute. This is kind of what I'm, I'm going to make a custom one, but this is what I used as a test. There's actually some like really cute uh, journal covers like that one is really cute. These aren't, this isn't mine. This is EA's. But yeah, that, it did look like a dog. I feel the amount of validation I feel right now. Thank you. Um, oh, let's see. Um, okay, so uh, back to this. Um, so when we, because we put the confident moodlet on this, um, we can recall the confident memory and they just kind of stand there. Um, I can, If I put it on the wall, I can make them look at it. And then you can see they get... These are called buffs. So if you ever hear me say buffs, um, this is what I'm taught. These are buffs down here. So from a confident memory. memory. Um, so that'll last for four hours. Um, and yeah, so then if you have... Robert, the only thing right now, like I said, this is a work in progress. So right now I don't have it. It doesn't let you recall the memory while it's in inventory. Um, so I'll, I'll need to edit that. And then, uh, someone asked, can toddlers use it too? Anyone can use it. Um, so, uh, I'll, I don't, I know I have an animation for the kids. Okay. We need you to quit school. We don't have time for school. Although school is very important, but not, not for you. I forget how to do it. I think... Oh, I guess we'll just lock her in a room and then she won't be able to go to school. <laughs> My poor Sims, they live like really awful lives. I do feel bad. Oh, hey, this is cute how they set this up. Look at this little like side garden room. I like that. That's cute. I like the way they did that. But now you're stuck there. So I hope you really like it. All right, we'll give her this one. So let's see. I, hopefully that's the right journal. I plan on adding like a bunch of covers, obviously, so they're not all the same. So let's make sure. Oh, this is this is her dad's notebook. So we don't want this. Also, if you guys making something live draggable is really easy. Um, I try not to do it in like too much because then it's like in live mode you're grabbing too many things. Um, but. I can make this live draggable. Um, could it be Jennifer Burkhard? Could it be sized down to put on mirrors? Uh, yeah, it could. If um, if I made it on the wall, go on the wall, the only thing is if, if it gets too small, you'd, um, it might like depth wise go into the mirror. Um, so you'd probably have to use uh, like use alt to place it. But yeah, you can size it down and put it on there. Um, no chew at the end. Uh, I will go and look at how many characters it is. I think the maximum that it will even let me put in the absolute max is 140, 140 characters. So let's see. We'll, we'll test, we'll test it out. So author will make this, um, Mara. I think that's how you would say her name. Mara's notebook. All right, and we'll do the details. You don't have to do the, the full journal details. I just figured if you wanted multiple journals, like if you wanted the dog's journal or, oh, one thing my sister um, suggested was a wedding book, um, like, a, uh, what are they called? Like a guest book at a wedding. So you could have like a wedding journal and then have like each of your visiting Sims, like, fill it out like they would a guest book. So that's why I wanted to do like a ton of different styles. Um, just so you could use these for like a ton of different ways. So yeah, the each one, each of them have separate inventories and your Sims won't be able to like pull out, uh, <laughs> they won't be able to pull out the, the entries without you doing it. And I'm laughing because Nochi said, so we are tweeting, gotcha. Is that the character limit of Twitter? It probably is. I'll I'll test and see if I can get it a little bit bigger. <laughs> but 
Um, well, I'll test it right now and see how much we can do. So I have already forgot her name. Moira? Moira? Mira? Mariah? Mariah's secret journal. All right. Let's see. Many characters. Let's see. Yeah. I know it's not, but I'll, uh, I'll see. I think the max I can go is 140. I'm just putting spaces in here so it looks good on the tooltip. Yeah, so that's not very many. Um, obviously, those are periods, so it's shorter. Hopefully, it's enough for, um, hopefully, that's enough for, like, the entries, um, cause you can do as many as you want. So, um, but, um, this is my secret journal. No one looking here. So I, I just love this for like story mode. Um, and I, my sister, I, she, I like live vicariously through her sins cause she's like five generations deep and like she started with Max Villarreal. Um, if, if you guys know who that is, he's, lives in Windenburg. That was like the patriarch of her family. Um, and he's gone on to have many, many children and grandchildren. Um, and she like loves photos so that she was the inspiration for the photo mod. And then, um, this is actually a suggestion from, uh, one of my patrons, but, uh, yeah, I just thought, I thought it'd be really cute for gameplay. So, um, the kids also have, I don't think the toddlers have like a writing emotion. See, so she's writing in her little journal. I didn't make it so you actually pick up the journal. Because like there's a lot of like animation and routing features. And I wanted it to just be a quick thing. Um, so, um, so I turned nine today. I am so excited. It's my birthday. Do Sims actually have birthdays? Yeah, they do. Yeah, because you can celebrate them. So, um, yeah, and like I said, too, you can always come in here. You can change the author and then add a moodlet. will make this a happy memory. Um, but, yeah, I didn't want them to actually, like, have to go and pick up the notebook and write in it because sometimes I thought, like, you just want, like, to take a quick note and there's, like, a lot of Sims running, you know, walking or around and I know there's like a issue with um all of the emotions or interactions kind of like lining up here so I just wanted to yeah make it like a dummy book object and then like they're actually just scribbling in a notebook I don't think I'll be able to do that with toddlers so toddlers will probably just magically create one um, and then, but the kids can reminisce about these two. And like I said, I'll make it so you can reminisce in the, when it's in the notebook too. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Let me go and pull up all of the different, um, icons I have gathered for it, which is a lot. <laughs> um... So Jennifer Burkhard, okay, random side note question, that's how I talk to you, feel free to ignore me, no, I would not do that, um, of course not, um, would, uh, if you could make there be a mirror that functions as the parenthood calendar board, I actually, I don't know if you know this, but I actually do have, um, a parenthood calendar, I separated the clock and uh, I made it not a calendar. I think I made it just a corkboard. I'll pull that up here in a second and show you. But it's on it's on my website, uh, ravishing.com. And I think if you just type in parenthood or curfew, I think maybe it's curfew. But I already do have um, a little fix for that. Or I guess alternate version. Okay, let me show you guys the icons I have for this. I am purposely hiding my folder structure from you guys because uh, it is it is a hot mess. <laughs> okay. So these are just some of the ones that I have chosen so far. So let me see how big I can get these. 
Um, let me see. View. Okay, so these are the ones um, I have so far. Natasha, you can make it do the happy giggle dance thing they do. Yeah, I'll see. I might, the reminisce thing, I totally, there's tons of like, uh, they're called reaction lets um, that I can have them do like to be, you know, excited or sad. So uh, for reminiscing, there's like tons of stuff I can do. The only thing I was thinking I didn't have an animation for was them actually writing um, but I'll look, I'll look and see. I'll make them do like a little, a little something. Thank you, Diego. I'm so happy you visit my website every day. You guys all crashed my website the other day though, <laughs> which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing, but <laughs> I was like panicking because little Simsy made a video of my cupcake maker and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> my whole website went down. <laughs> um, but do you guys all see the icons on here? So these were some of the ones I thought were good. Like, um, obviously, like, putting in a death um, and a birth. And I thought, like, these crayons would be good for, like, if you had a memory about your kids. And these aren't even all the icons. Like, I don't know if you guys realize how many icons there are in the game. <laughs> There's a ton. Um, uh, let me... Here, let me hide this again so I can navigate through my folders and I'll show you. I'll, I'll actually post this on my website under announcements to let you guys look through it, um, this icon list. So you can um, show me or pick some of the ones you want. Let me resources. Let's see. There we go. Okay. I don't know if you guys, if that's showing up for you yet. Um, so these are all of like the icons. Um, these are like the buff icons, but hopefully I'm not going too quick. But like there are so many. Um, I think I had the school one because I thought the school one would be really cute for like a first day of school entry. Um yeah, yeah, I have the school one. And then, but yeah, so I mean, like, there are literally tons of options. So if you just comment in here, like, what kind of uh, icons you'd want for these, like, for what kind of memories. Um, like I said, I already have covered, um, we have, the, like, the baby for, like, a birth or a heartbreak, a fight. Um, the, I thought these would be good for, like, sad days. Yeah, uh, Christy, I think I, I have multiple folders. Um, I think I did get, I got, I think this is from the calendar icons. Um, but like wedding bells, I thought this would be good for like a payday or this would be for like a sick day. So um, I don't know. Or this was like, a, I thought this would be cute for like a move in day because I thought that was cute. Oh, graduation cap. That's a great idea. I'll, I'll for sure add that too. And like, I guess maybe like an age, age up one. Um, I guess that would be a birthday. Um, but, or maybe like a gnome and stuff. But yeah, so these icons, just, just visualize this. These icons would go, let me put that guy back in there. So the idea for these icons would be instead of this blurry photo thing, it would be one of these icons of your choice. And that way it would be kind of give you like, when it's all spread out, it would kind of give you a calendar view um, of it. And then I did, if you guys want something other than paper here, I can do that. Um, I originally thought of doing photos, but it's, that would be just like too much. I, oh, I thought I did different colors on here. But I can do like different, um, like kind of like colors for the notebook pages. So you can put, hang like multiple of them. Going to the grocery store as well. So, like, grocery list? Oh, university acceptance. That's a great idea. You guys are great, full of ideas. But, yeah, I thought that was cool. I've spent a ton, ton of time on this. I'm, I'm glad you guys are so excited because it's actually taken me a really long time. So, um, but I should probably uh, go work on some stuff so I can get more out to you guys. I've been, like... I, I promised you, I know I was so slow with getting CC out, 
like a few months ago and I was working on my website and I promised you I'd pick it up and I, I feel like I have because I've been like a, feeling like a CC making machine. And a lot of these, like the sprinkler system was such a long work in progress um, and the utility panel too. So I'm, I'm glad those are finally, finally up, uh, taking finally out to you guys, although maybe not in the most ideal form. Um, uh, Natasha asks, could you add a menu so we can choose our own image? Yes, that, that is the goal. So, um, when right now it just says create an entry. Um, but the idea would be when you create an entry initially, you would choose an icon. Um, semi portraits, they're coming. Um, I am working. So I have a version of the semi portraits done. But I am working with someone, I can't say who yet, who is actually writing me a script for these. Which, if you guys know, I don't normally use scripts. But I am in this case um, because uh, I'm allowing you to change, like, the Sims outfits and do, like, different poses. So that is a work in progress. Um, I, I might be able to release, like, a little quick version of the portraits. They're just kind of boring because... Unlike the family portrait, you can't, like, choose their pose or their clothes or anything like that. Um, which I thought was kind of a bummer. So that's why I'm working with someone on getting a script out for you guys. But they are coming, I promise you. I, I have not forgotten about the sim portraits. Um, Diego, and for anyone else who missed the beginning, um, uh, I am going to wrap up this live stream now. But um, all you need to do is I went way in depth over everything so you just need to rewind this this even though this is a live stream it'll be available forever on my youtube so you can just rewind it and watch the beginning part um and if you have questions or comments um if you're watching this now or later um you can just put the comments and i, I try to keep up with the comments on youtube so even though i won't be on the live stream chat you're still more than welcome to um leave comments so with that, you guys, I'm going to turn on oh the stupid vertical, the meat thing. Someone please tell me what that is. But with that, I'm going to, I'm going to wave goodbye with, to you with my, with my broken sprinkler <laughs> that I love though. Like I said, little Dika helped me color this. So this guy will be coming soon too, but I hope you guys have a great rest of you. Oh gosh, it's already almost Monday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your short little weekend, um, what's left of it. And hopefully I will have a lot of stuff coming out for you guys soon. I will get those journals finished up. Um, the, uh, no fig deal is wrapping up, uh, it's going live er, or sorry, public access in like two and a half weeks. So, um, yeah, you should all have that soon. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday afternoon with me. 